Hello, welcome to episode 7 of Metroid Fusion. The last part I cut off abruptly right here after doing a huge shine spark. And this part we're gonna continue on in uh, sector 5. <laughs> Finishing it off actually, this will, after this will no longer be in here. And now, the X connection combined with the end of our space powers to form Mare? Pirate? I don't know. I just call them what a certain YouTube person does, <laughs> which I'm not going to mention because people might, considering how popular he is, he... people might get pissed. <laughs> Anyway, now that we're out of the water, finally we can get our good abilities back. To blast up that ceiling, go up here and into here really quick, place a power bomb. And well, you'll get a power bomb, and also I just found this out now, you can actually get a red uh, parasite to spawn in there, I did not know that. <laughs> Learn something new every day, I guess. Anyway, jump up here, place another power bomb. And hug this wall so you can climb when it appears up. Jump up there, place a bomb, and you get another power bomb. That room to the there was to the room to the left there was a re recharge. The room to the right is save. And now another one of these guys, which means it's time to fight the nightmare. <laughs> but first. Go into more fall, place a bomb there, fall through there, and get our next E-Tank. <laughs> and here he is from Mother M. Because this is the exact same creature from Mother M, except this is an X parasite of it. When it was flying around before in the background, it was actually not infected yet. So the strategy for this guy is wait until he slows is that the first part you have to hit that little glowing part that's tail. I would wait until he slows time down, then aim directly up so you can get multiple hits on him. Because if you hear carefully, I'm doing like two or three hits at a time there. So that's his first form down, the next aim get on the ladder and aim for his face. Shoot him then spam missiles everywhere. During this farm, he just shoots lasers and tries to charge at you, albeit unsuccessfully. Well, actually, no, I mean very successfully at a lot, just that doesn't really add up to much overall. And do the exact same strategy again here. And then, second form of Nightmare is down, now it's just down to another X-Core. Just take care of this like you've taken care of the other ones, and you should be just fine. <laughs> and we get the gravity suit. And no longer are we an extremely loudly colored person, but now we are just... Mrs. Purple! <laughs> anyway, open the door and go all the way right because you kinda need to do this beforehand anyway. So you can speed boost through this wall. <laughs> I tried to shoulder tackle him, but it failed. <laughs> anyway, back in this room. Open the door on the bottom right, but to make sure you have a little speed boost first since you need that to progress into the next area. And. Shine Spark. Who? Oh, up there. You get a power bomb. <laughs> Now, uh, I'll mention that in a couple minutes actually, when it's a bit more relevant. I failed at a jump there, so now I have to redo that. Jump through there and double fish 
ownage. Welcome to the second half of Sector 4. Another atmospheric piece I really do like. I think this entire place just screams atmosphere. Anyway, down here at the beginning of this place, you need to go left instead of right, even though the right's run towards where the exit is, because you'll come across a level 4 door eventually. You can progress. In fact, there's a level 4 door right there. Bomb through that. And kill those guys. And head this way. In this room, bomb the floor and lay a power bomb down here because you can get more and more blocks this way. Go down this hole, go through this hidden passageway, bomb, bomb your way down to this one, open this, kill that guy and go through that to bomb this door to reach the fourth, final, and final red personality core. And with that, we've now unlocked all security hatches. Now then, coming up here is a section where you can actually build up a speed booster. In fact, it's this room. All the way up to... I th oh, wait, no, it's the... It's starting from that ledge all the way to... I'm getting confused, actually. I haven't done this trick yet. Well, I have once. You have to start running there and keep on running all the way to here so you can build up a shine spark then you can do a weird shine spark chain all the way to the top of the previous corridor so that you can get back into the room where we entered sector 4 and shine spark into a wall to the point where you can actually get a hint message from Mr. Purple and the guy he was talking with earlier I'll post a link to a video that does it in the description if I remember to which I hopefully will Anyway, power bomb that to get a <laughs> missile tank, sorry. In this room, don't go up, shoot this thing, and I think there's a glitch you can do up there though, but I'm not in the mood to do it. Because that guy will block your way, you can only freeze that guy. Freeze that guy up there, go into Morph Ball and jump above him. And then you may seem like you're in a dead end, but what you're supposed to do is go all the way through this small corridor and build up a shine, and build up a speed boost. Oh, that poor guy got denied at the last frame. <laughs> oh, there's a miss. Oh, I forgot to get that, actually. That's right. Oh, well. Because there was a missile tank to the right of that moving thing, but I don't really need it. I have enough missiles at this point. Don't, fit don't do what I just failed to do there and actually try to build up a shine spark, or you could actually just space jump up there. Why did I do build up a shine spark again? Eh, yeah, well, I'm not sure why I'm questioning myself from 15 minutes ago, well, actually not from exactly 15 minutes ago, from... Actually, yeah, about 15 minutes ago. Shine Spark Hope! Oh, that's right, because you need to Shine Spark up. <laughs> Get another Power Bomb. I thought, I remember there was something over there at this point, but I didn't feel like going over there to get it. Go all the way here, build up a shine spark, shine spark, oh! Go all the way through this corridor, and there's just a speedrun attack it. Shine spark, up, shine spark, hoop! Grab onto the ladder, missile, and get up there. Now, those blocks right there are only missileable, but we can't crouch when missiling, so, hmm, there's probably something up in there. And if you look below us, there's a data room we couldn't get to before. Now we can get something that but that's new to the series and it's only in this game, except for it's relative in uh, other M. The diffusion missiles. Charge. You hold down the R button and then fire with B. It pretty much it just spread shot effect. Just 
it has a really cool sound effect. Anyway, go down here, do this little invisible corridor, don't get hit there. Kill this motherfucker. And shoot the blocks right there to get another missile tank. Now you can exit, but I'm going to go get one last power bomb power up here. Which is only two rooms away, so... This is one of the very few times I'll actually be going out of my way to get an energy tank, energy tank uh, power up. And lay a power bomb there to, to kill, destroy two blocks at once, and then do another power bomb here to get another power bomb power up. And after this quick little recharge, say goodbye to Sector 4, we'll never be here again. And the Mr. Purple seems surprised that we upgraded our missiles and that there was no and that he did not and he gets angry at us for not Asking him before unlocking level 4, even though we had no other reason to. But anyway, the BLX security robot from earlier, now it has an X parasite infected its little brain, so we have to go and kick its ass over in Sector 6. Let's go! It's the last time we'll ever be in Sector 4, and this is actually our last trip to Sector 6. We're getting pretty close. Uh, only about two parts left now, actually. Considering I'm trying to, consider I'm, after the next part, I'm going to make sure it's only two parts. And that it seems to have gotten much stronger, but he, but he also has another problem. That we have to leave NLC no knock immediately, because the SAX are tracking us. Or, uh, I, yeah, I was considering, technically speaking, it's Samson, the person playing at the time, so. Shine Spark! Hoop! Um, I remember when I used to have trouble this, when I first came here. The thing about it, this game, this special game actually gave me the most trouble out of all of them, considering I died a lot in Sector 2 to the SAX at times, and this er sector, so... This is definitely my most death-filled Metroid. I've only died two times in my recording, even though I had to edit those out. Power bomb there, so you can progress through this wall. I think there's something to the left, but I don't feel like getting it, because I'm not getting 100%. Fall down this one-way passage, and this looks like a very important room, but it, and it will be. Go down here, cause nah. Shoot down here, and it seems we're entering a secure area, and we get an alarm. And warning: no entry via authorization. Giant spark! Oh! Anyway, if you like this video, rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Before heading into this very important room. See you then!